Hello everyone, Reverend Susan here. So good to see you again. My husband and I went for a walk at the weekend down Watergate Lane in Bulford and we saw those first signs of spring and here are some snowdrops for you to see. These are not the ones, these were growing in the woods and you're not allowed to pick them but they were so beautiful and they're a sign of new beginnings, something about which I'm talking about today. For just about now in normal times the church is getting ready to mark a special time in the year. We can't do this in church while we're in lockdown but we can do it via Zoom and video which is how I'm with you today and we can all share in this special time. It's called Candlemas and it's a story which happened about six weeks after Jesus was born. And now we're just about six weeks from Christmas Day. It's a story about two very old people, Simeon and Anna. They spent all their time in the temple in Jerusalem, the place where everyone gathered to pray. But they didn't just come once a week or once a month. They were there every day. And Anna even slept in the temple. They were waiting waiting and waiting. What were they waiting for? They were waiting for God to come and help their people. Because they looked around and they saw that people were very unhappy. Roman soldiers had come and marched into their land and they had to do what the soldiers told them to do. And often the soldiers were cruel. Simeon and Anna saw that people made each other unhappy too. They treated each other badly, as if they didn't matter, especially people who were ill or poor. It wasn't right. And Simeon and Anna did what they could do to help people, but they knew they couldn't do it all by themselves. They needed God's help. People believed that God would send a special helper. They called him the Messiah. But when would he come and what would he look like? All day, every day, Simeon and Anna watched and prayed. They looked at all the people who came to the temple, but none of them was the right one. Then one day, a little family, a man and a woman carrying a baby, came into the temple. The baby was about six weeks old. And it was baby Jesus with Joseph and Mary. They'd come to the temple to say thank you to God for Jesus. All families did that then. And when they came, they brought something to offer, two pigeons. They felt very small because the temple was huge and it was very crowded. No one would notice them, but someone did. Simeon and Anna Something told them that this little baby was the one they'd been waiting for and they pushed through the crowds towards them. <clears throat> An old Simeon took the baby in his arms and said, This is the one I have been waiting for. Now I can die happy because I have seen that God is coming to help our people and people all over the world. He will be like a bright light shining for everyone. Anna told everyone around that this child was the light of the world and he would be very special when he grew up. Someone who would help them to live in the right way. Mary and Joseph didn't know what to make of it all, but they remembered Simeon and Anna and what they had said as Jesus grew up. Candlemas is a time when we remember Simeon and Anna too. They had to wait and watch, to be patient and keep going, not giving up, so that they could see Jesus. And sometimes we have to do that too. It's easy to give up when things are difficult, but Simeon and Anna trusted that help would come and help them to keep going. So we can think of Candlemas as a time for new beginnings. 
we might not be able to change very much in our lives because of the virus and the way we have to follow the rules and keep each other safe. But we can think of how we might change what we are like inside. How we think of others. Could we be more loving and kinder? Could we be calm and help those who are anxious? Now Candlemas, you see by its name, is a time when we light candles. And I've lit one this morning so that you can see. And you might be able to do this in your school or at home. But wherever you do it, you must make sure that an adult is with you and that you keep safe. But we always light candles at Candlemas. So let us pray. We pray for people, for anyone who might be feeling helpless all in the dark. We pray for our families and friends and ask for help to keep going. Give thanks for our teachers and parents helping us to keep with us up with our schoolwork in difficult times. We pray for better times to come. Amen. <clears throat> this morning I thought I'd just sing um, a chorus of a song which you may know. And it's called Light the Candles Round the World. Light the candles round the world. Pray the light will never cease. Till the nations of the world take each other's hands in peace. Light the path and show the way, every boy and every girl. Make the light as bright as day, light the candles round the world. Lovely to speak with you. Keep safe. Keep happy. <laughs>